guys, it's Dave out here and uh, we just want to talk a little bit about trail maintenance because there's so many people not only building trails now, but there's also people that are carrying hand saws and, and want to help at their local dirt bike area. So we wanted to do a little bit of video on trail maintenance, sort of the do's and don'ts and the reasoning behind them because we want to just make the trails better for all. Some people sort of believe that if you, you know, leave all the trees cut down and, and uh, stuff in the way that it actually makes the trail more difficult. It, it does, but it doesn't make it difficult in the way that we want it to. It would sort of, if you equivalent it to a ski run, we don't leave groomers and snowmobiles and trees hanging over us for people to hit. The difficulty is in the steepness and may, if it has moguls or, or whatever. Same with dirt biking, when we talk about green, blue, black diamond and double black diamond, we want the trail to represent that. And so we want to cut, on all those trails, we want to cut the dangers back. Uh, so behind me here is a perfect example when we talk about sort of uh, trail maintenance and you know, it's again, it's not to knock anybody, but you can see how the person who's cut this log out has actually left it hanging over the trail and then down low, it's left hanging there. So you can imagine if you were either coming down the hill fast and you had a little bobble, it sends you into there. Or if you're coming up the trail, this tree actually hides it. So if you, a person was sitting down, it's at head, head uh, height. And if they're standing up, it's actually at arm length. So it's the kind of thing like, this doesn't make a trail harder. This actually just makes a trail more dangerous. Here's an example of one of those things on the trail where people have cut out a log and it's absolutely ridiculous. This is the kind of thing that can actually probably kill you if you bobble offline. You come into this thing, you can hit this chest first if you're going into it. If you don't do that, you might hit your rad on the bike. You could hit a part of your body, your knee. You just can't see it. You come out of a shady area behind us and into sun and there's no hope of seeing this. And that's the end of your ride and maybe the end of your career. So these things get to be cut out further back. As you can see, Dave brought his handsaw today and he is cutting that out off the trail where it should be cut, where there's no chance of hitting it. As you can see, the trail here comes into a corner and in the uh, outside of the corner, there's a tree that's been cut off. Somebody's done, brought a saw in and done some amazing things in here and they've cut a lot of things. So. What we want to do here is make it safer and more fun by cutting this back further. You can see behind here, there's actually a tree that more represents a natural barrier for the trail. This particular log would actually take, if you hit your front wheel on this, it would send you straight sideways and potentially put your head into the tree. So we want to take this and cut it back further. On the other side, there's just a little bit sticking out. It could catch a peg. We're also going to take that back a little bit further and that'll make it safer. A little bit further up the trail, we have another um, tree sticking out, kind of head height. It might be a problem. It's again on the outside of the corner where you could potentially lose control and hit this with your head or part of your body. There's also debris on the ground which would deflect you this way if you happen to make a bit of a mistake. So somebody has come along with a handsaw by the looks of it and tried to cut part of this out and kept the trail open. But we're going to take that again back further to the natural barrier where the trees are. That way, the trees dictate the trail boundary, not these headhunters. Let's kick back, pop shots, have a ball, and if the world blow up next life, we do it all over. Uh, yeah, let's toast to the memory. I wrote my name in the sky, so remember me, baby, forever we. Together, mentally, the day I leave my baby over something in hell of freeze. As you can see, we finished cutting out all the stuff on the sides here, and it is way more open now. In the distance there, you can see those uh, things that would hit you in the head, they're gone too. So this whole piece of trail is now opened up and it flows a lot more. We haven't really changed anything except made it safer. So the other thing that happens is that people will come into obstacles and they pin it after something that slows them down. And you end up with whoops in the trail. If you do this, you do less maintenance, no whoops, and people have fun and they're safe. So get out and help your local trail, help your local builder, and do some trail work and have a great time out there. Like it's 1999, you know what Prince said. Girl, you my princess. I got the glass slipper. I hope the thing's fair. Your body on fire. Let me extinguish. Hop on this white horse. Rise to the sun.